In this video, I'm going to be sketching x take away 1 squared take away y squared equals 1. First thing to do is to identify what type of graph that we're talking about. So because you've got an x squared and take away a y squared, this is a hyperbola. Now with a hyperbola, we've got those two asymptotes. Now the x here has been replaced with the x take away 1. So a translation has occurred, moving it one step to the right. That's a translation by the vector 1, 0. So imagine if that hadn't happened, that the original graph was x squared take away y squared equals 1, which you can write as x squared over 1 squared take away y squared over 1 squared equals 1. So that means that this graph has asymptotes where they are of the form y equals plus or minus b over a times x. Now b is 1, a is 1, and so we've got plus or minus x. So these are the asymptotes that would go with this graph. Now if you translate that graph one unit to the right, then the asymptotes are going to go with it. Okay. So if you know what y equals plus or minus x look like, they are two lines that go through the origin. These two lines will go through 1, 0. Okay, so something like that. And something like that. Okay, so these are my two asymptotes. Now, they would be, uh, this one would be y equals uh, minus x plus 1. And this one would be y equals x minus 1. Okay. Uh, now that's also from the form of if you replace the x with x minus 1 in there, plus or minus x minus 1, you get y equals... Um, if it's plus, you get x take away 1. And if it's minus, you get minus x plus 1. So if you're wondering kind of like how you could do that generally, just perform the transformation to the equations of the asymptotes as well. Okay? Right, so if we go back to the original graph, then I want to find out where it crosses the x-axis. Now that's when you put y is equal to 0. So we're going to solve x take away 1 squared equals 1 when y is 0. So x take away 1 is plus or minus 1. So x is equal to sorry, 1 plus or minus 1, which is either 2 or 0. So 2 and 0 is where the curve is crossing the x-axis. So now from that, we can draw our curve. That was poor. Let's try that again. No, I don't think that was much better. <laughs> oh dear, oh well. Something like that. Okay? And so that is the shape of the curve x take away 1 squared take away y squared equals 1.